gold and silver both have been trading pretty much in range throughout this day specifically silver if we talk about 2260 2280 levels as we discussed in the asia session update today morning few hours back that this is the range where we are not going to take any position it is precisely in the same zone and gold which tried to trade with a modest bullish bias and now is has come across 1917 1980 levels the next resistance zone so now what to expect today specifically the world is waiting for the nfp data from us definitely it will bring volatility and hence trade with caution trade with the stop loss trade with the trading stop loss and do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon before leaving the video also you can join my free telegram channel in order to get the live updates the link is mentioned in the channel and video description let's start first we look into gold followed with silver to watch till the end now if you look at gold on the early charts yes it has got the support at 1910 and with that as support it is looking forward to a rise remember this is still a retracement as we can see a sharp red candle here so this is still trying to retrace and how far it can till the time it stays below 1925 we should not be treating gold as a reverse gold for a reversal only above 1925 30 zone which is a very strong resistance we can expect that it is reversed and it is going to fly above those levels at the same time a sell below 1910 is very clear which is going to take it now this time possibly till towards 1900 levels that is my expectation now look stock stick is overbought macd is divergent and bullish looking upwards we discussed that this crossover is happening at a bottom and see beautifully it is achieved a little rise RSI is also looking upwards indicating slight bullishness similar observation on the 2 hour charts as well uh, and it is trading in this bullish channel highs of this channel now at around 1920 be careful till 1920 above which possibly we might see 1924-25 levels but see this is till 1930 it has got very very strong resistance and hence it can show you a pullback any point of time from any of these levels a stochastic back to overbought macd has crossed over trading with little divergence trading bullish here rsi is almost flat and on the 3 hr chart now see on the 3 hr charts it is also similar observation see the previous candle is also coming with a wick and a tail it also indicates that both sides is possible but yes still 19 10 at least we are not going to treat this as bearish only below this you can expect it to trade bearish above 1920 little more rise can be expected yes it has achieved the 20 period moving average the 50 period is situated at 19 18 19 19 levels and hence till here be cautious and then 1925 levels will come into picture a stock i stick back to overbought macd willing to cross over it is not yet crossed over it is converged but not yet crossed over rsi almost flat and on the four hour charts now look at 4 hour charts likewise see uh, higher lows higher highs trading in this channel 19 20 20 levels is going to be the next resistance here and at the same time the support is seen at 1914 levels below which 1910 and below 1910 only reversal right now it is trading bullish you can see these two candles the previous candle and the previous to previous candle increasing body size increasing bullishness is the sign here and a wick and a tail on the downside probably indicates a little more swing here we have to be careful stock i stick looking up macd which was trading with a fat belly has now converged it has not yet crossed over rsi is almost flat and on the daily charts now first thing on the daily chart see the highs of these two candles and which makes 18 to 22 dollar levels very very strong resistance then 25 and then 28 30 till as and as we have discussed here till 1930 it has got very 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 good resistance 18 19 18 19 22 19 25 28 30 till 30 very sharp resistance exists from multiple levels because see, it has to break past each of these hurdles in order to confirm a reversal also remember it is almost open flat and since then traded bullish and hence there could be a pullback on the downside where 1900 is a greater support the stock i stick has dropped the macd is in green and this crossover is happening at a lower levels we have to be careful here rsi is also flat here considering i will now recommend you to buy at around 1918 levels but then 1922 1925 28 30 till 30 very very strong resistance and hence you have to care you have to be careful below beyond 1930 it can try to hit 1938 40 levels on the downside below 1910 you can sell here expect 19 100 levels as the first and 1895 specifically is going to be a very very good support here stock i stick has dropped 
मैगडी इज ट्रेडिंग विद मॉडर्स बुलिश बायस एज ऑफ नाउ ऑन द डेली चार्ज एंड हैंस टेक योर ट्रेड्स अकॉर्डिंगली ट्रेड विद स्टॉप लॉस ट्रेड विद ट्रेडिंग स्टॉप लॉस एंड यस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न दिस आर्ट ऑफ ट्रेडिंग यू शुड जॉइन माई मेंटरशिप बैच द ट्वेंटी थर्ड बैच स्टार्ट ऑन टेंथ ऑफ जुलाई कपल ऑफ सीट्स आर अवेलेबल रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ नव इट सेल्फ रीच आउट टू मी फॉर मोर डिटेल्स माई टेलीग्राम एंड ई मेल आई डीज आर मैंशन इन द चैनल एंड वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन लेट स्टार्ट विद सिल्वर नव Now see silver right now trading within the zone and as we have discussed earlier in the day between twenty two sixty and twenty two eighty we have got very very good resistance for silver here. Possible it can try to achieve the swing and achieve the high that around twenty two eighty eighty five. In fact, till twenty three the next resistance zone it has got very sharp resistance here at twenty two ninety also. So till twenty two ninety be careful. Remember it has narrowed the Bollinger Bands have narrowed strongly and see previous expansion now it has narrowed a bit. possibly from here whichever direction it takes it is going to expand and hence most more volatility is going to be seen here the stock elastic has retraced the macd has crossed over here trading with divergence and little bullishness though the movement we have not seen here rsi is flat and on the 2 hour chart now on the 2 hour chart see one thing we had discussed also is this that is still uh, silver is giving you higher lows higher high see this drop this drop and this drop three drops and higher highs higher lows are seen right now it is still getting the support at around 2260 levels only reversal confirmation only drop confirmation only bearish confirmation is only if you see trading silver trading below 2240 a stock elastic is rising the macd is bearish willing to converge crossover rsi is also at bottom and on the 3 hour chart now similar is the observation on the 3 hour chart see first of all candles opening one over other with minimum movement consolidation here in between 2260 2280 do not trade in fact 85 and 90 very near by but these are the resistance level and then 23 only about 23 little more bullishness is confirmed where we can expect silver to complete this v shaped recovery till towards 23 20 at least the stock elastic is flat the macd is bearish trying to converge here it has not yet crossed over rsi is flat and on the 4 hour Now on the four hour charts, look at previous two candles, lower highs, lower lows, swing here, pivot somewhere at twenty two sixty levels, very good, twenty two seventy levels. It is almost at these levels, and possibly about twenty two eighty, little more bullishness, but still eighty five, ninety nine, twenty three, and twenty three twenty are four resistances. The stock has ticked bottom. MACD is bearish, trying to converge here. RSI is almost trading flat, and on the daily charts. Now see, this is what we are talking about on the daily charts. That after this drop, it is this in, in, still trading within this retracement channel. Even yesterday's drop failed to break the lower trend line here, which is definitely a very good support. Which means for the day also, if you look at twenty to fifty five levels, twenty to fifty levels are also greater support, and below twenty to fifty four fifty levels, and then twenty to forty further bearishness is going to be seen. now see what it has what has happened here is four to five green candles one breakout candle now from here if it has to reverse it has to rise a bit complete bullish breakout can be confirmed if only and only if it breaks past 23 40 levels this is the level if it breaks past then only further bullishness or a reversal is confirmed here this is going to be a very very crucial zone at the same time on the downside 22 40 so this is a a 1 dollar zone for silver a very big zone where we are going to still see a directionless it can trade either which way so for the day if you are taking a buy and trade 2280 you have to put your stop losses at or put a trailing stop loss such that in case of a reversal your trade closes in profit or else at least put it at a at a entry price the put the stop loss at your entry price on the downside below 2250 levels certainly we can see more bearishness we are 22 40 to 22 20 levels can be expected hence take your trades accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch join my signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you